Okay, so obviously I'm talking about how do we keep research methods relevant. Um, I'm going to talk about this from my perspective working in a psychology department and as somebody who's actually not interested in psychology whatsoever, <laughs> but is in that department. Um, as we know, this is what undergraduates look like. They all look like that, they're all ready to go and they're all keen and they have notepads and everything. Um, and what happens is when these students come to do their psychology degree, we get, you know, this guy, I want to learn about mental disorders and become a clinical psychologist. I want to learn about forensic interviewing and work for the National Crime Agency. And then, of course, we get, I want to learn why the assumption of tau equivalence is rarely met and is therefore a problem for reliability estimated in Cronbach's Alpha. That is your rocking horse poo students doesn't exist. No one's coming in, no one's coming in to learn specifically about statistics, because otherwise, if you're doing a statistics degree, they're not coming in to learn about specific research methods, they're interested in psychology. And of course, if you're doing geography, you could swap volcanoes and oxbow lakes, that's my geography knowledge, and then some statistics on top of that. And this is one of the problems that we really suffer from. Um, and essentially, we get this very much compartmentalised thinking with our students that they are neuroscience, developmental, clinical, forensic, and then there's a box that sits separately. And that's something different that they've got to learn. And this is a completely different unit, and they've got to learn it. And one of the things we've got to do is somehow get some sort of levers to move this box. To move the box, because the way I see it, None of those things are relevant or interesting or we learn anything from them without understanding the research methods and to an extent the statistics or the qual methods that underpin it. Because how can we trust it? How can we understand what's been done? How can we evaluate the conclusions that have been made unless we can get them to think in these terms? Now, I think from my perspective as well, these things, research methods and statistics, are often viewed as a necessarily necessary evil by the students, not something that's integral to them as being a psychologist. Um, and, you know, statistics in particular, from my pers perspective, some just does statistics, is it's often just viewed as an afterthought. I've done an experiment, and then they'll email me in April, in a bit of a panic, and say, how do I analyse my data? And I'll go, what's your hypothesis? And they'll go, um, I'm not sure. And then we'll end up in trouble. Um, and that's the same with qual as well, in as much as I'm going to do a qualitative analysis. Which one? Um, ground of theory, why? It's the easiest one, is it? <laughs> but we get this as a problem um, throughout. And, and this is a problem, not, and I find one of the big problems here it's other staff members as well who view statistics and who view things as an afterthought. They don't really think, I could tell you horror stories about students coming to me, master's students going, I've done all this data collection, great, I want to test this, you can't. <laughs> and this is the problem and it's because we've got this disjoint between what they're doing as part of the degree or the master's degree and the underpinnings of research methods and statistics that lie um, behind it. Um, I think one of the, some of the challenges that we really have to communicate this relevance is we've got to try and communicate not only research methods to its importance to what they are, the research they're conducting as a dissertation, but the research that they're reading, how they can use that to critique. How to evaluate evidence from other sources as well. You know, recently Jacob Reeves Moggs um, survey on imperial measurements. Do you want imperial measurements? Do you want imperial me uh, metric measurements? They're your choices. Guess what? 100% of people want imperial in some way. But that's something they should be able to critique. And also the relevance to their future career. We have tons of pain points for this as well. More specific ones about how do we get them engaged, how we get them to enjoy it, increase this confidence to do it. Colleagues, the biggest pain point of all. Colleagues are worse than students, if you ask me. And then if we want to make things relevant to the course they're doing, we need bespoke examples that are based on a program, not a modular basis. Then how does that work with core textbooks? And then we've got constantly update cases because nothing's standing still. Statistics ain't standing still, and the fields we're talking about aren't 